Hey, what's up guys, it's Inca 4x4 and you are not gonna wanna miss this. We're gonna go into a deep dive on the new Inca 4x4 truck campers. If you want any more information, go to www.inca4x4.com. They're available for mid-size and full-size trucks and they're custom made. So I thank you for being here and I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna, we're gonna go over the Inca 4x4 camper and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about doing the new adventures, um, my Airbnb guests that I'm gonna take and, and it's just gonna be an awesome trip. I've, I've done trips where I've hung um, a, a movie projector uh, on the side and we watched movies on the top of a mountain. It's just like, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, making the organization back here, it's, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have plans for something uh, follow Chris who got the Inca 4x4 camper for his Tacoma at Tacoma Adventures. Uh, he already bought extruded aluminum and pieces. He's, he's going to do a whole build out on the back of his Tacoma. So I'm really excited to, to see that. And yeah, it's available for midsize and full size trucks. It, we take measurements of your bed. So it's made specific for your bed size, your bed size and also the height of your cab. So. It's, it's made specifically for your truck. So if you have an older vehicle you're interested in, if you have an, I've, I've actually gotten like two people messaging me about the Ford Maverick. So it weighs 308 pounds with everything, with the crossbars and everything. So it's, it's, it's not that heavy. Uh, if you consider other fiberglass setups and rooftop tent setups, it's, you know, you're way over that. So. Uh, I'm excited about how light it is. I'm excited about the features. The features are the main thing that I like. It has the ladder included. It has the molly panels on all the windows included. Um, it has the three crossbars included so you can easily mount your solar panel. Um, it has, um, you know, nice locks, the see-through windows so when you're driving you can still see out the back. There's no extra charge for that. It has uh, the, the full zip around um, ripstop fabric for the canvas on, on the tent so you don't have that uh, opening on the side and air's coming in and the things flapping. No, it's everything's nice and tight up there and uh, uh yeah it's got a lot of features so we're just gonna we're gonna go on the inside i know people have been asking me about stuff on the inside i've been working with um some photographers so we can get nice photos and uh, my friend kjm garage he's been shooting some stuff for it and uh i'm just i'm pumped so let's let's just get into it and i'm gonna sh i'm gonna give you a walk around like a mtv style crib walk around <laughs> But let's let's check this out. All right, so we have the fridge here. I've had this slide here for a while, and the Molly panel. I really enjoy this because it lets you accessorize your your vehicle however you like. And I love that it's like wide open, so you can easily access access your items. And then it's got gas struts. The the water that does run, you know, will run off the sides here. So I like that. These I have to still cut off. Um, once you get them bolted in, you just need to cut off the, the ends. But all the hardware is included. Um, there's actually a nice uh, packaging case with extra hardware, all the, all the tools you need to assemble it. And basically it comes with the camper that's assembled and then the top that you need to put it, you need to put it on top. So I made it to where it's compact enough to ship very easily. So if you're, you know, you're not in Atlanta, can't come here, you can, I can ship it to you. So uh, this is on gas struts and this appears on gas struts. So this goes up like that. And yeah, um, this here, these here and reinforce the corners if you could see they're bolted together first and then the exterior is bolted on the outside so it just it creates like a really strong um a really strong corners and the whole corners of it are also have like a uh, a basically like a backbone or like a uh reinforcement section 
that help with its uh, rigidity. And then, yeah, I mean, we went to Wind Rock. You guys saw the trails I was doing. Um, this is the, the sleeping section. And I'll, before I lift it, I'll just, I'll get up here. But I'm 5'7", and, and I can sleep comfortably. Normally I would go the opposite way, but just to show you, like my feet here, you know, I have space here. If I'm a little bit taller, maybe I could sleep sideways, or you just bring down this part here. And you can sleep up here. It has a little light that's included, pockets, and a nice, you know, cover here. Then that way in the morning you don't have to wake up when the sun comes up and just, you know, I, I, uh, I like it like this because it's, you can sleep into whatever time you want to sleep in. So this here, has the ripstop fabric on the outside. And then on, and then also has the mesh that zips away. But this is the thing that I was talking about. This uh, comes all the way across. So it's not open on the bottom like some other manufacturers because sometimes what they do is they just zip up and down. And the problem with that is that air just comes in through the side and just has it flap. And not only that, most people charge extra for these windows. So they charge you extra for the windows. And like I was telling you, it comes with the ladder. And I'm going to come down on this side here to show you. So the ladder is included. And you have all this space here. You can see my four my uh, one banger and the gas struts this here also just uses 5 16 uh, hex nuts so you can easily mount all sorts of accessories and i made it so you can you know you don't have to buy no specialty products or whatever to to get this to get this done and this lifts this up like this and out the way I'll actually zip this but the zippers are nice uh, with easy uh, teeth they're like big ones so you don't have to mess with the zippers too much it also has like a little pass through for you to run wires or like a diesel heater or something. And then the locks and, and things are all weatherized. I mean, we took this to Windrock and kind of was a little extreme on it, but we had fun. And uh, I was really glad that I had my camper. Um, let's, let's walk over to the front a little bit. You can see I have my KC Pro 6 uh, lights, but I'm actually gonna get the Morimoto, uh, Morimoto Big Bangers. I really like the, the backlit feature. We have two 100 watt um, panels and a Renogy uh, 100 amp hour battery. And uh, yeah, this is the Free Spirit 270 awning. This is a, a prototype uh, kitchen. It packs away where I'm gonna mess with that and maybe have something for everyone. But yeah, you see I have like my accessories up here. I can easily pass, uh, get items through there. And let me just show you what it looks like walking around. I'll, also, you can easily hide your wires through I need, I'm still working on all this, but this comes out so you can easily tuck your wires. You can easily run your wires through there. Um, I'm still working on my solar and stuff. So bear with me while I get everything situated, but so I'll just. 
I'll zip this up like this and I'll just show you kinda, so this here can be like, like a desk or you can cook. You, know, you could be standing here and just working on your, on your item, whatever. I'll probably use this like a stand-up desk. Um, but then when I'm ready to go to bed, you know, you pull down the sleeping platform. And I leave my sleeping bag up here like this. So you can leave that and see that's a full sleeping bag and, and it's uh, not even getting to the end. So um, I hope you guys like this. I know people have been asking about it. Um, what's the inside look? This is a good peek at it. I'm going to further build this out. Like I said, we're working on clamps for the actual bed rail system, but we took this out to Windrock and had no problem. Um, I did some pretty tough trails and I was more scared for the Jeep than for anything else. But um, because I normally do overlanding, not really like rock crawling or anything like that. So it's uh, not what I normally do, but yeah, let's wrap this up. Uh, I'll add some additional photos of the or video of the solar of the truck. I'll just do a little a little shots of everything. But I'm glad you came and checked this out. I hope you like it. I can't wait to see the adventures people take on it. I'm I'm been selling overland equipment pretty much since like 2019, doing the the overland trips through Airbnb and all that, and and uh, just having my vehicle with like four people myself and camping and having everything organized it's hard so that's i've been through several iterations from trailer to roof rack through jk S, uh, fj cruiser this land rover discovery i've you know built a couple vehicles so i kind of have some experience on what works what doesn't work and uh I'm glad to share this experience with you. I hope that this is a is something to help you get out there and just easily adventure, enjoy time with your family and friends because that's really what is most most important. And if you go over to our website and just check out some of the gear we have, we have the awnings from Free Spirit. We have Cook Partner stoves. Um, they are like made in in Idaho, and they're one of the best stoves you can buy um, we have the inca 4x4 trail bags i'm so like blown away by the, how people have purchased them and then use them to pick up campsite trash and all all sorts of uh you know leave it better than you found it kind of thing it just blows me away and i'm greatly appreciative for that so i'm glad to be here i'm glad to be part of this community this is a very amazing community don't don't hesitate to reach out to ask questions. I've been there and I'm glad that you're here with me today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do a lot of off-road, overlanding, um, gear review, that kind of thing. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you tuning in and, and um, you know leaving a comment and, and everything like that. Uh, if, uh, if there's something uh, you you want me to support in your local southeast area? Uh, I'm a small business, but I'm I'm very glad to you know help in any any kind of way. If it's going to organize cleanups, if it's going to you know just uh, I'm a part of the community, so thank you, and I hope to see you on the trail.